1977. No, pardon me, 1976. I was 16. Uh, my my first professional theater gig, um, and I I got my actor's equity card right then, and I started. Um, I auditioned a few more times, and I was very young, and I realized I had no training, and um, and I needed some kind of training because I didn't know what I was doing, and. So quite often when I was performing, I was just watching myself and commenting on how terrible I thought it probably was. Has anybody else ever experienced that? It's an awful feeling. It's a, you feel extremely um, unsafe. So I went to the Lee Strasberg Theatre Institute in Los Angeles, California, from Regina, Saskatchewan, by the way. And um, it, it's a whole other interview how I got there, so we'll, we'll park that for right now. Um, and what I got from working there was an understanding of authenticity. That I didn't have to apologize for who I was and that I could say what I meant. And also, I learned that there's very little room for politeness in acting. There's no room for politeness in acting. Respond in the moment and do not apologize for how you feel. And, and that's not to say that um, your, your, your work should be dictated and run amok by your emotions. But I, I learned to value my instincts and to work with my impulse. I still act and I, I teach now with it and it's the best of both worlds. You know, as, I, as I'm getting older, um, I don't know how much longer I'll act. I'd like to think I will keep acting until I drop dead. At a very old age, by the way, <laughs> very very old age. <laughs> um, but if I but if I didn't, um, and I could pass my experience on to people, um, I find it equally rewarding. 